For nearly half a century, the spacecraft Voyager 2 has drifted through silent space, farther and farther away from Earth. It has traveled beyond the influence of the Sun, beyond the familiar bubble of science, into regions where darkness rules the cosmic sky. Voyager 2 was never built to last this long, yet it still whispers faintly through the vast void. But this time, its transmission carried something different, a signal that shook the entire observatory community. What NASA decoded from the latest cosmic message was not just surprising, it was impossible. The spacecraft recorded a signature in the stars that no one had expected, a discovery that challenged all reason. It was a reality that scientists fear humanity may not be ready to face within this endless universe. What exactly did Voyager 2 really find in the starry deep beyond our solar system? How could it defy everything we thought we understood about the frontier of space? And why are researchers calling it the most haunting discovery ever made in the history of space exploration? Voyager 2 should not even exist this far away, drifting past planets and dust. Its journey only became possible due to a once in 176 year planetary alignment in the cosmic sky. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune lined up like pearls across an invisible starry arc. In the 1960s, a part-time NASA employee hand-plotted those planetary orbits with just a pencil on paper. His calculation allowed engineers to use planetary gravity as a cosmic slingshot through space. Each giant world propelled Voyager 2 faster and farther than any human creation had ever traveled across the stars. The spacecraft was built with only 69 kilobytes of memory, less than a modern car key fob. It transmitted with a signal no stronger than a refrigerator light bulb glowing faintly in the dark. Voyager 2 was never designed to survive interstellar space beyond the solar system. Yet 46 years later, it remains out there billions of miles away whispering across the cosmic dark. Now, Voyager 2 has whispered something strange from the space between stars. In 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's solar wind ends in the galactic night. It followed its twin Voyager 1, which crossed the same threshold years earlier in 2012 across the sky. But Voyager 2's data from that moment did not match predictions made on Earth. Nothing matched what was expected about magnetic fields, radiation, or the flow of cosmic plasma. Scientists had predicted sharp changes in the cosmic environment as Voyager crossed the border into interstellar space. The spacecraft did record a massive spike in plasma density, proof it had truly entered the galaxy's realm. But the expected magnetic shift never occurred, the field orientation stayed the same. It was as if Voyager had stepped into a new room of space, but the walls looked exactly the same. Physics is not supposed to behave this way in the cosmic laboratory of the galaxy. Unless we are completely wrong about the shape of the magnetic room we thought surrounded the Sun. For decades, we believed, the heliosphere, the Sun's magnetic shield, ended at a precise border in space. It was imagined as a protective bubble wrapping Earth and planets in safety from the galaxy. But Voyager 2's findings suggest this edge is not sharp at all, but blurred and uncertain across the void. The spacecraft detected strange cosmic fluctuations, ghost-like pulses, and variations in space plasma. These fluctuations did not match the known 11-year solar cycle that scientists rely on for predictions. It was as though Voyager 2 had entered a twilight zone between worlds, a magnetic in-between. Then came something impossible within the darkness of cosmic plasma. Voyager detected a region of stable plasma with rising galactic radiation, but the magnetic field did not change. According to physics, that should not be possible in this corner of the galactic frontier. Unless something larger and more complex is shaping space in ways we do not yet understand. 
Perhaps Voyager 2 has given us the first glimpse of forces much bigger than the Sun within the galaxy. As Voyager moves past the protection of the Sun, a new truth about violent space becomes clear. The galaxy is far more dangerous than we once thought when hidden by solar shielding. Galactic cosmic rays, subatomic shrapnel from ancient supernova explosions, flow endlessly through the stars. These rays are no longer filtered by the heliosphere and now strike Voyager 2 directly in space. The data shows radiation stronger and stranger than anyone imagined out in the galaxy. Worse, the radiation is structured and patterned, not random noise in the void. The pulses recorded may be signs of interactions with hidden interstellar structures among the stars. Perhaps Voyager crossed dense plasma clouds or remnants of old collapsed stars drifting unseen. The chilling question is whether life could ever survive such cosmic violence without solar shielding. These rays shred through metal, destabilize electronics, and rip apart DNA in the darkness of space. If Voyager's hardened instruments barely endure, human life would be instantly vulnerable out there. Each Voyager carries something else besides science equipment into the stars. A golden record was placed on each craft, a 12-inch disc etched with human greetings. It contains music, pictures, and messages in 55 different languages recorded from Earth. It has been called Earth's mixtape, humanity's message in a bottle to the universe. The record contains Beethoven, Chuck Berry, greetings from children, and even President Jimmy Carter's words. His message declared it as a token of our hope and goodwill within a vast and awesome universe. Voyager 2 has carried that fragile greeting farther than any object humanity ever launched. If anything conscious exists out there in the galaxy, this record may be the first voice it hears. It is not a weapon or machine of war that represents us, but our music, our greetings, and our laughter. And when Voyager's instruments finally fade, the record will remain drifting silently through the stars. Floating forever, waiting for someone, or something, to notice us across the cosmic sea. In its latest message, Voyager 2 detected something that should not exist in the galaxy. NASA has not released all details, but leaks suggest a mysterious frequency spike was recorded. It came through one of Voyager's low-band instruments, a brief repeating signal across the stars. It lasted only 2.4 seconds but was mathematically consistent in its pattern through space. It was not cosmic noise, not plasma vibration, and not any known stellar source of energy. Then, Silence returned to the cosmic background after the strange burst. The official story called it a glitch or anomaly, just an error in old spacecraft equipment. But insiders at NASA are not convinced, saying it looked intentional across the dark signal. Not necessarily intelligent, but deliberate, as if it was meant to be noticed in the void. It has not repeated since, but the fact it was captured once has changed everything. If Voyager, with failing power and ancient circuits, can intercept such a signal, what else is out there? What else have we missed in space because we were not listening carefully enough across the sky? Voyager 2 is more than a spacecraft drifting in the darkness. It is a mirror we launched into the universe, reflecting our courage across the cosmic expanse. It was built by hand, coded in primitive assembly, operated by people long gone from Earth. And yet it endures, not because it was perfect, but because it was human. Voyager represents a time when humanity dared to explore without greed or fear across the galaxy. It asked questions no one else was asking, questions about who we are in this vast sky. Now, after 46 years, the same small machine still asks those questions for us across interstellar night. It transmits the music of plasma, the whispers of starlight, the hum of cosmic radiation. It does so not because it must, but because it still can, drifting across space. 
Voyager 2 reminds us that the universe does not need to shout to be profound. The greatest discoveries come in faint echoes, not explosions, across the stars. Sometimes the smallest signal from the farthest place speaks louder than all Earth's noise. Voyager tells us about space, but it also tells us about ourselves under the night sky. It tells us what we have created, what we have sent, and perhaps what we still can become. In the coldest and darkest corner of space, where sunlight is only a memory, Voyager speaks. Against every prediction and every limit, it still whispers across the void. But this last strange discovery was not only science, it was something more in the cosmic silence. It was a tremor, a reminder, a clue, perhaps something we were never meant to hear across stars. Or perhaps it was something we were always meant to find waiting in the galactic darkness. This journey was never only about reaching space, it was about reaching beyond ourselves. It was about proving that curiosity can outlive time in the silence of the universe. Voyager 2's signal is fading as its power dies in the frozen night. But before it falls silent, it gave us one final truth from the galactic horizon. The universe is not empty, the edge is not the end, and sometimes the impossible is real. Voyager's echo reminds us that discoveries do not always break our science, sometimes they awaken imagination. Tell us in the comments if this story inspired you or made you look differently at the night sky. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.